minutes. Engine fires for 12 minutes. Just thinking, I think this is the first burn in the vicinity of the moon that's on this side. Hey, big one, camera yeah. coming on. First descent propulsion system burn on this side. Uh, no, any, burn, any burn of any magnitude at all. Let's see, all of our corrected burns were on the back side of the moon. Oh, yes, that's right. On Apollo mm -hmm. 10, they, they mm -hmm. came on up to Apogee and then fired. Uh, yes. To go into the, that's right. And by that time, they're on the far side again. Eagle Houston, if you'd like to try high gain, pitch 212, y'all, 37, over. I think I've got you on high gain now. Roger. Coming up on one minute to ignition. One minute to ignition and 13 minutes to landing. Can I get the angle, though? I'll right. let them in uh, to use them before we are around. Right, you pitch 212, y'all, plus 37. Don't know, don't know that we could take the tension if they decide to go around again. <laughs> I'm deep in. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. Cut altitude about forty six thousand feet, continuing to descend. I'm just wondering as Newell as Newell Trask is sitting here with us, how the moon looks to him as we're coming over. Do you think that's the right place? <laughs> yes, that looks like the right place. We should have a countdown now. Ignition 10%, 10% throttle, I suppose that is, Wally? Yes, it'll be programmed up as we, uh, or as they get closer to the surface. I think you have that data there. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, maybe we're having a little ion disturbance from the engine at this point. Uh, no problem, just the fact that it might be trouble getting communications through the plume. Well, it would mean then that we would not have communication with them in this critical 12 minutes. Our animation shows. Animation shows the engine firing. The lunar module is proceeding from right to left on your screen. I'll leave it in flu. Relay to it. See if they got me now. I got good signal strength in flu. Yeah, you should have me now, Houston. Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good, over. Eagle, that looks good. Eagle, Houston, everything's looking good here, over. I think you can hear a little excitement in Charlie Duke's voice. <laughs> Eagle, Houston, after you're around, angles. Uh, S-band pitch, minus niner, y'all, plus one-eight. Copy. Yeah, communications are in really good shape again. I can agree very closely. Roger. Great. Ten minutes to the touchdown. Boy. Ten minutes to a landing on the moon. They're right on. Altitude's a little high. I think it's been almost ten years since we've been trying to do this. <laughs> now just Two minutes, to... twenty seconds, everything looking good. We show altitude about 47,000 feet. Now, in about four minutes from now, they will get their first look at the landing area. So far, now, their, their uh, heads are down. They're getting a little fluctuation in the uh, AZ uh, voltage now. 
Roger. They're, uh... Just the uh, meter, maybe, huh? They are right. face down, looking windows good, down. Uh, you're still looking good. It's three, coming up three minutes. Their feet forward. That remark on the AC voltage was uh, a meter, possibly. Uh, uh, the ground is not concerned. Right. They roll now to the windows up position. As you just saw. Minutes now, they get that first look when they pitch up, going to a more of an upright position. And they can look forward out their windows toward the landing site. At that point, they'll be about three and a half miles high, making about 103 miles an hour forward with about 13 and 8 tenths miles to go. I think it's going to stop. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to landing. You're a go to continue at all at uh, four minutes. Roger, you're a go to, con you go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. That's another major milestone. Altitude 40,000. This is a go. Houston, we got data dropout. You're still looking good. Go, no go a decision at that point. They could uh, abort the landing at that point if there had been a no go decision. about 68 miles to go. Seven minutes left before landing. Okay, we got good lock on. They're at about 35. Lights out. 35,000 feet high now. LH is minus 2,900. Roger, we copy. At the earth, right out our front window. Houston, you're looking at our Delta H. Uh, that's affirmative. Program alarm. It's looking good to us. Over. It's 1202. 1202. Good radar data. Altitude now 33,500 feet. Hal wasn't too far off. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that uh, Hal may be uh, just about right by the time uh, uh, Doug Ward relays that to us, so he's probably a few seconds behind. Yeah. Roger, we got you. We're going at alarm. Roger, 330. 6 plus 2, 5, throttle down. 6 plus 2, 5, throttle down. Roger, copy. 6 plus 2, 5. We're still go, altitude 27,000 feet. Same alarm, and it appears to come up when we have a 1668 up. Roger, copy. What's this alarm, Wally? It's a, a go uh, case that Eagle, just Houston, apparently some Delta function uh, that's coming up on the computer is Delta a verb. Delta is looking good now. Roger, Delta is looking good to us. A verb noun combination, no problem, as I see. Uh, Roger, copy, throttle down. Throttle down. Better than the simulator. Right. <laughs> they say it's better than the simulator. That's consoling. I think things look real close. Crowds around this country and all over the world are watching this, listening to these communications. Altitude now 21,000 feet. Still looking very good. We are. 